Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can do a pan and we're going to make a handles for it and if you just look out here you can see this pan and you can see this unique handle so it just looks good let's just do it on the power servicing we're going to go to the power servicing tools and make slender apply it go to sub d mode and just let me just select these delete it i'm just going to insert a line here and delete this so let's just take this guide delete it also and as you see you're gonna see something like that it can control how much I need my band. So let's say this this is good, and this guy should be fifteen millimeters and one hundred millimeters on the radius. The radius here is fifty millimeters. So I'm going to scale it up until let's go 30. Okay, so this should be 30 centimeters now what I'm going to do is if I just have my pan and everything looks great maybe I can do a crease here and I'm going to insert a box So just scale this and go to the top view and I'm gonna select my box here and extrude it. Let me go to the, the box mode first. Just raise this face a little. And insert an edge on the center here. So if I just pick it this face here and just go in a little to the bottom. Let me just go search another some edges here and let's take this rise here. When with a soft selection, I'm gonna take this end vertices and just increase the amount and give it a little bit of curvature like this. Okay, and now we want this to be thinner. Select these two faces, make them flatten, and 
here in the top view I'm going to insert another edge here and it's going to be smaller and I'm going to crease this edge like this just give this a little bit of a crease also Let's see what else we can do. So you can see here that you have this guy is just wider. Let's insert a line on the center. Now let's make this add a bottom a little and this guy is just let me just add something like or maybe let me just hide this handle and second this. gonna be maybe three millimeters and show the body here the tools for surfacing option and this sub the push back just get the slider at the left to make the lines just visible better and now I'm gonna select my edges here and make some more details. Alright, now let's keep modeling our handle.
once we finish the main detail you can easily go to subdivide this one selected and proceed to keep the rest of the details I mean, maybe you can just go delete those and the same at the bottom and go to okay apply and make just a little bit of creasing oops no we just can go back And I'm going to crease just these edges. Okay, maybe. Let's try to 100. And. And this two also, then And just now close those as a bridge. You also just make a quad fill. Now let's just remove those and those and just connect them like this. Now just crease these edges, or maybe they are good. I'm going to select these two edges and then just merge them together and the same here. Alright, so, so now I think it's just all great. We got the last detail and it's just we can draw something like this here.
get this a little bit at the bottom and do something like this See, I have the two solid bodies. Let's go to texture it and make this pen just like this, and maybe this guy here. Or should chrome or something. So for this section here, you go to the fillet and I can get a nice fillet for this. Two millimeters, maybe one millimeters. And I could just apply this first. And let's go to the end, the bottom here, and you can see why it's not just filtering, and it's because that you have um, a crease with the bar surfacing here. So if you just go back. and make all of these our hard edges okay now now let's try we go to fill it again and fill it this radius yes you can see now it's just filling it's maybe two millimeters no, it's one millimeter is gonna be good. All right, so you got this nice static finish. We just remove this face. Buy some real graphics views. Go to modify the perspective. So yes, you can see now you get this nice pan. Do that. And you still have your solid body. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So thanks for watching. And before we end this video, just let me Combine these two bodies together if you just need to combine them and press add. So now we got one body. And if I need to go to fill it here, you can see now got a nice merge between them. Of course, you're not gonna do this because of this is separated boards, and you can make a mold for this, but just in case to show you that you can just merge the two bodies together. Thanks for watching, goodbye. Here's another example for a pan also, and this should be a grill or something. So let's do it. Let's try to do this also. So for this one here, I'm gonna go to part surfacing and I'm gonna get a box 
okay apply as it defaults and here is my box now I'm going to try to manipulate it until I get the shape so as you see it's just a little bit square okay now I'm gonna insert a line on the center and mirror now if it's just like this insert a couple of lines and one on the center here so if we just remove this face you're gonna see that you sort of have the exact look so I just need to make it just smaller from this wide and smaller here also okay now at the bottom here we're gonna just crease a little and then move it along up a little and just a little bit again okay it seemed enough and Let's see if we just have any details. I think we have some lines here and graze this. In a word and this one creased. gonna see something like this all right so as we have a mirror we can just I'm um, using the subdivide tool okay then try to make the handles so as you see the handles here is just merged with the body so what I'm gonna do is just getting these two faces and then extrude them so it should be just center from here and then get wider Let's go to tools or servicing option and somebody push back to the minimum. All right. Let me first unseal this part because I need to add a thickness before I do this because you just don't need this to be shelly like this so I'm gonna select these lines and go to unseal it then I'm gonna take this part separately like this and reclose this guy here okay let me just close them together And here also. Now, from this, make them flat. Okay, 
then I'm just gonna hide this port and select this we let me just if I just crease it this before thickness like a hard edge okay and <clears throat> go to my thickness select this port mask tools seconds and um, I'm gonna need it to be maybe two millimeters oops just forgot before I do this let's unhide all again and unify the mirror select all the ports and this guy here on the X and Y or X and Z 250 millimeters I just need this to be 40 millimeters 40 hundred millimeters so I'm gonna just scale it all right then hide this again select this body and thickness now we need just two millimeters it's gonna be good apply and unhide my port again go to the box mode and I'm gonna I'm gonna remirror again okay then delete these get my body And I'm gonna join this vertices together. Select this first and then this one. And for this guy also. Okay. Now it's just closed, and this one, you just look at the picture. We need this to <clears throat> make this a little bit bigger, like this. And just Put this up a little bit. And now I can select this and remove this smaller and the same process at the bottom.
Now, bridge between them. And you can see here, we have this bridge also at the front of it. So I'm going to select from here, then easily just kill it and something like this. and press on mirror I'm gonna remove this faces and they're gonna merge automatically so as you see we just did the bridge you can see that it just creased a little on here or maybe you just can modify it whatever you need or whatever you want Okay. And just make it wider from here. give it a little bit creasing so like this Can with the soft selection increase a little and give it this a little bit angle. Then I can make sure again that this one is flat and just give it some adjustments on here. it's going to be like this one is just need to be down here this one down here on here and convert and here is my solid body
just go to fill it and fill it this radius, give it a little of angle here. I'm gonna sketch on here. Let's make a plan. And draw on it. And let me get a line. Maybe from here to here. And this one is gonna be 175. Then I'm gonna office it, maybe five millimeter. Four. Okay, four millimeters is good. And cap the ends, hit apply, then linear on the Gonna select these entities. On the Y axis, reverse. And you can see in the picture, maybe it's just 15. Or 14. Okay, now hit apply, features, extrude, reverse the direction and tell them to body. Let's see if it's gonna work. I think it's because it's underneath it or something. Let's tell them that contours. And off the surface, maybe just go in blind. Okay, all of them. Okay, so as, as you see now, That's how you just model the grill. I hope you just enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.